Well, after the amount of time, I've uh, been away from here. You could say that I've missed this place. Ooh, oh, well, that's a bit of a issue. Never mind, though. I guess I'll just deal with shrapnel in my leg. Where's your head? Is that your head? Oh, yeah, there's your mouth. Huh. I mean, you've got one for one perfectly sliced the top of your head right off. You've got a mouth like a gaping, dirty asshole. I don't know if you knew that when you were alive, but now you're dead, I have informed you of this. Exist in the existential crisis that is death with this knowledge. Well, third person time now, because if you're gonna kill a man and steal his goddamn coat, might as well show it off a little bit. Wow. Like, his head had just popped right off his spine like a sock coming off of a foot. <laughs> like, the spine was just there dangling for a bit. That shit really struck a chord with me. Can you stop shooting at me, shy? I have done nothing to you. Yet. He's not dead. Well, there goes the surprise. Oh. Ah, bloody. Bloody. Hell. Well, he, uh, he got my sack face a little bit mucked up and I repaid the favor by destroying his head. It's like a fucking watermelon. What am I, Gallagher? No, you don't see me. Please. Don't do it. Would he be happy with that outcome? I mean, he's walking around with a bomb in his hand, ready to die at any moment. Is he happy just being dead, or did he really want to take someone with him? You're the kind of guy where most of his friends would have a falling out with. Huh? Are we done? Next scene? Whoosh. <laughs> That's it. That's the, there's no joke. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing witty or clever. That's just fucking funny to me. I am sorry for what I am about to do. Fuck! A man in a bathrobe with a burlap sack for a face just beat the shit out of you with a baseball bat. And you're three times the size of me and you've got more muscles than Arnie in his prime. What a fucking waste of life you were. Looks like you're an overlord I should have overlooked. I thought it's called The Island. I better bump into Leonardo DiCaprio in a goddamn minute. And then I can give you my old companion from Dark Souls 1 and present him with an Oscar. Arrgh. Joke doesn't really work anymore. He has now got one. Mm. A little bit like that. Grim. Up, a chip. But you saw nothing. Well, that's awkward. You, you've made me feel rather silly. I have missed all of my shots. You have made me feel exceptionally daft. Why have you done this? Bloody hell! <laughs> that's point blank with no. Yeah, you, you missed. How on earth do you miss someone who is wink winking wi wi winking you in the face? Yep. I think this will work nicely. Oh my lord, this is why you don't wear bathrobes to battle. Jesus, my health just played its own little personal game of limbo with how low could it go. C can we not have that repeat? I'm not putting up with it. Oh. One guy with one gun damn near killed me three times. So it's up. That's it. Oh, the two motherfuckers with the goddamn lobster thing on his head? Mm, not a problem. Both of them trying to ram their fist up my ass and down my urethra. Didn't kill me. This little goddamn Timothy Dalton damn near fucked my life right up and over. Seeing as you're of the male persuasion, it's pretty fitting on this little island I'm about to go coastal. Oh. Nope. Nope. No storm. Nope. Shelter. Anywhere. Help! Let me in! Oh. Fucking move. Move. Well, this isn't fucking creepy at all. Kiss me! Bonk! Get out! Bonk! What the- Excuse me? What the- That's one way of dealing with a creepy mannequin. Think that your mana can't fuck with physics? Apparently the game says your mana can. Just think. In, in, in terms of this universe, people try to stay in this and live. Through a nuke. In a giant fucking coke can. With a little bit of an air can- mm. No wonder people fucking died. People should have made it more new, clear to them that that shit ain't about to stop an atom motherfucking bomb. Oh, yeah, cheeky. Uh. Um. Um. <laughs> Why did you. It just fell off. It fell off as if it just didn't even want to be there to begin with. <laughs> Well, you ghouls are a goddamn disaster. Every single time I've killed one of you, something has gone awfully wrong with you. Um... Hi? You... You both were... 
I'm sorry, what's happening? They both slowly waddled toward me while seeing me, got to a certain distance, decided, you know what, no? And then trotted off a little bit before deciding to come... This is, this is why nature... This is why nature must die. I just shot it in the ball. Irks! Have a little patience! Jesus! I was gonna kill you quicker when I got a punchline! <laughs> About giving him a right stag do! Cause, you know, I just locked his bollocks right the fuck off. But hey, never mind. Now you're both dead, and the joke didn't work. Wouldn't have been funny anyway. Thanks for ruining my day! I was gonna say you two would have been wild life of the party! Alas, you're both dead and it doesn't work. Yeah. You're not creepy at all. Is that- is, are they- were they I'm sorry, did they just advertise fighting furries? Or did I read that wrong? I wonder if I turn off the machine upstairs, they'll get all pissed off and come try and kill me. Let's roll. Well, that was the wrong button. Oh, and they actually are all slowly shambling toward me. Drama alert joke notwithstanding, this actually did work. Well, when all else fails... It slightly tickled them. Oh no, now they're running toward me. This is an issue. No, most of them are still somehow just crawling toward me. Oh, and this little fella is still trying to get me. Oh, he's still, he's still trying. He'll, he'll get me soon. He'll, he'll do it eventually. I think the worst part is, he doesn't even seem to know where I even am. I may have been the one to break off your arms, bugger up your legs, and generally ruin your entire body, but I'm pretty sure you destroyed your brain long ago if you don't even know I'm right the fucking hell behind you. I don't know what just flew off of him, but I think that was the top of his head. Yep. Definitely the top of his head. Oh. I just took donkey punching to a whole new fucking level, didn't I? Oh, it's your robot called Pyle. And we're at a harbour? Oh! Oh, it's the dank memes! Bethesda's the best -er. Oh! Fucking Pearl Harbor joke. Jesus Christ. And the Japanese guys were the ones who sent me here as well. Fuck. Jesus Christ. That's a, <laughs> that's a wallpaper right there. Beaver Creek claims. You know, I feel like there's a joke here somewhere. But for the life of me, I can't find it. It's just... Staring me in the face constantly. It's, I don't lay. I've truly got nothing. I feel like I'm striking out on this one. This is stupid. No, that's not the joke. It doesn't count. It's just. I, the joke man, I'm staring at something ripe for the jokes. I just can't think of anything. Damn. Well, I managed to go past the guy's course. I didn't have the quest activated. I'm good at this game. Uh... Oh. Oh, you're doing this now. Oh, good. Apparently I'm a test dummy, because we've crashed. I'm going to have a falling out with this game. Okay, this time, let's not sprint, let's not jump, let's not aim, let's not shoot, let's not do anything. Take it nice and slow, so the game can load whatever it needs to load. We made it past the previous point. Thing we're golden. Glorious. I'm going to go find a corpse and shoot a mile arc. I just broke your face off. How does that feel? What's that you can't tell me because you now have no face with no discernible place where it should have been? Where is its face supposed to be? And... It crashed... Again! <laughs> with this, uh... With this harbour warfare, I made the Robert Bowling joke. Three strikes and I'm out! Right! Bloody third time's a fucking charm! So all- You've gotta be fucking kidding me! But it was turn round! I- Nope. Nope, that's it. I'm done. Everybody looking for harbour, everybody! Wave goodbye! Fucking hell. <laughs> well, that was utter bollocking nonsense. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that fucking silly mess. You likely didn't, but if you did, please do like the video to let me know. Then I'll- now to make more of it to some extent. And if you found yourself not entertained, but still somehow here, then uh, you should go watch somebody like Tomato Gaming. Their content's absolutely fantastic and doesn't rely on uh, horrible puns and dumb voices. So go watch that guy, give him a chance if you haven't already. Fucking guy deserves a lot more exposure and he's hilarious. Failing that, uh, you're still here. Uh, here comes the rest of the video. I guarantee it won't be a waste of your time.
No, 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 it, re it really won't. Pl pl please watch. Has he got eyes? Like, he's supposed to have eye sockets, but from this angle, it looks like he's got pupils just fucking giving me the right stare down for being a prick. No, you place, bitch. You ain't nothing but a- Oh, God! Fuck me, that actually creeped me out! Jesus Christ! That legitimately creeped me out. Resident Evil 7 didn't get close to that level of- Oh, shit! Oh, you can throw mannequins at me around corners all you like, but that was fucking true horror. Think that your mana can't fuck with physics? Think that your mana can't fuck with physics? Oh my god, this is a tongue twister, apparently. Think that you can't mana- <laughs> My brain is dead. Help. <laughs> Fuck off, then. Uh-oh. Oh, I was slightly tickled by, uh, <laughs> falling far enough to brand Stark myself. All right, then, cool. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Jesus, I'm ill in the middle of summer. Definitely didn't have anything to do with going down to the fucking beach for, the, for a little bit of a Pokemon Go session the, the day before it actually came out officially so I didn't have the twat and got soaked pissing down in the fucking rain. It probably has a lot to do with that, actually. Thanks, guys.